I'm Brandon Cooks. We at Oregon State University, and uh, today I'm taking Stack Media on the tour of our uh, our campus and our football facilities, and uh, you know, show them how show them how I live for three years. We in the player lounge. This is where all the players hang out. You know, we got the shuffleboard, we got the ping pong table, we got the foosball, uh, air hockey, the pool table, and. Uh, the king, of course. You know what I mean, no, no one really can stop me in those games. You know, and this is where we start to walk down to where it gets down at, where the grind starts with the, with the film and uh, you know everything else. So I'm gonna take you down here. So this is the place that changed your game in the film room, the receivers meeting room. My spot was over here in the front. You know, I like to be smack dead in the front. Coach B, he's usually in the middle. Put the film on. You know, goof around a little bit. But uh, you know, once it's business time, it's business time, and uh, this is the place that, that that can change your game. So viewers, if you're a football player and you're looking to enhance your game, get in the film room more. That's where it's gonna start at. So we got our receiving records, receiving yards in the season. It used to be, uh, yeah, it used to be Mike Hass. He had 1,500 last year. Break that 17:30, receiving TDs in the career. It used to be Mike Hass. Break that 24 uh, receptions in the season. It used to be James and Marcus Wheaton. James Rogers and Marcus Wheaton. Uh, they had 91, 128. I, the one I pride myself most in is the receiving yards in the season. And uh, you know, I started to 1730. You know, that's a lot because last that's also the Pac-12 record last year. Somebody had it, but I had, I took it from them. So I pride myself in that due to the fact that uh, it's not easy to get a lot of yards, especially at the receiver position. So uh, I remember in the beginning of the season, you know, we was on pace, and it was kind of it was kind of odd because you usually don't see that. And uh, we kept going throughout the season, we continued that, and hey, at the end of the season when I saw that number go down, it was definitely uh, put a smile on my face. And this, this is the place where it all goes down. I mean. Hold 50,000 people in this place rocks. I'm, I mean, it rocks. The Beaver Nation and the fans, uh, loyal, uh, they go and, uh, you know, they come every game prepared to, to, to yell their loudest. So I'm gonna uh, walk down here with me and we can go on the field and, uh, you know, get a tour around the whole, whole stadium. You know, this is a cool thing about this, or now for me, and now I'm standing in the end zone. And as we saw earlier, 24 touchdowns in my career uh, here, uh, which broke the record. Um, that's definitely fun, just because uh, and when you're in the end zone, obviously as a fan, you know you're going, that's the time you go the craziest. So, uh, you know, we have the home side. And I mean, it's all, I guess you could say it's all the home side. Our parents sit over there. And then my mom, uh, my number one fan, you know, sits right there in that corner. So I, I make sure before every game, I, I find where she at. And uh, so I can have an eye on her. So if something goes wrong, I look over there and she, she give me a little signal to, uh, you know, to cheer up or something like that. So, you know, I'm a serious guy, but at the same time, I, I, like, I like to joke around a little bit. And uh, so when I come out here on the field, you know, I'm focused, but at the same time, I know I prep myself so much that I can have fun with it. So, you know, I'll go around acting a fool, uh, you know, slapping my teammates on the helmet, getting them ready pregame, pump them up with our chant. But once that, uh, the coin is flipped and that first kickoff, oh, it's game time. Uh, the killer instinct come out of me, uh, that killer mindset that no one can stop me. And, uh, you know, that's my whole, that's my whole, that's all my whole thing is come out here like no one can stop me. And once I step on that field, it's, uh, it's game time. And I thank God every single time I step on the field and every single time I step off the field, I thank him for blessing me with this opportunity. And one place I'm gonna take you before uh, we go to the to, uh, weight room is, I wanna show you one of the hardest working guys in this football program. And we're gonna take you over there right now. Where are you at, Big Cat? The hardest working guys in the, our football program, the EQ guys. Big Cat, where are you at? Oh, he's out a couple of miles. Yeah, light? Yeah. This is Big Cat right here. This is a guy who took, he took care of me, big, big time. All the time took care of me. So this, this is our, uh, this is our little place. It gets crazy back here. It's getting redone. I think in a year or so like that, so they can have some more room. So this, this is where you're making money at. Uh, 
sophomore year going into junior year, I put on a good 15 pounds on muscle. And if you preach this place, you make it happen here, you can make it happen on the field. We have one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, square footage wise weight room uh, on the Northwest. In the Pac-12, we have a track over there, you know, 40 yard, 40 yard track. And then you have your platforms. And uh, what's cool about this is it's all, you know, one platform has everything. You got your cleans, you got your squat rack, you got your bench rack. And uh, we do a lot of Olympic lifting throughout here. And that's the part that changed my game. And I will never get away from the weight room again. You gotta stay lean, but you gotta stay strong. You know what I mean? Percent body fat. What's up, Doc? What's up, man? What's up, How's good? Nothing much. How you doing, good. I, got I wanna show you my, one of my favorite pe people in here, <laughs> Coach Miller. Hey, for? this is just my little stack media thing. <laughs> See? Yeah, so this is my favorite, one of my favorite guys around here. He took care of me. He the one that gets his right head strength and conditioning coach. So I wanted to introduce you to him. So I had to make sure I get, give him a shout Appreciate out real quick. Little face you, for me. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah I can't wait, man. Hopefully, I'm going to text you. Yeah, huh? text me. I'm going to text you. I got his number for you. Okay, right for sure. This, this is Arnie, our EQ guy, and uh, one of the best guys around here takes care of us. You want some Nike gear, you, you come to him. He's always working. I told you, he got a box in his hand right now. T. Anderson, our fullback. We got Teron Ward, our running back. What's up, man? What's the man hey, right here? Nah, see? Nah, nah, nah. These, these, you, these the men. Nobody works harder than this man, I'm telling you. you got the shorts, big shorts, things. Look, right short shorts. Big things. Business. $100,000 man. Hey, small town, <laughs> big, hey, small town, small town, big dreams. Hey, small these town, my big dudes right here. Hey, when, <laughs> when I needed a ride, when I needed a ride, I called him. Hey, Ruby Tuesdays on Mondays. What is it called? The pretzel burger or something like that. Premium. Premium. Hey, well done. Hey, and we're out of there. Straight up. Uh, Straight like that. And, uh, what is this? Look nah. at what's going on, man. <laughs> it's my right receiver here. coach right here, yeah, Coach I mean, Brandon, he's, right? Everything the, one, is, the one that got me right. Is good. <laughs> now, look how pretty he looks. Nah. The little purple shirt. <laughs> the nice kicks, man. Yeah. This man, it's all about the shoes. Yeah, a little bit. But well, he's got the game to match. So yeah. This is the guy right here. No, this is the guy. No, no. Come on now, Coach. <laughs> Appreciate it. So this, our, head, our receiver coach, this is his younger brother, Coach Brad. But this guy, this is the man right here. I love him to death. He played at Arizona. Don't let him fool you. He was a top guy at Arizona, top receiver. So he comes out here to show us some of his tricks. He played in Japan for a while. Now he's back. He can uh, speak fluent Japan too. Tell him something. Tell him to have a good day or something like that. Uh, Genki day. <laughs> I just want to introduce you to Coach Brad. And a lot of my advice comes from Marcus Wheaton because uh, due to the fact he did it last year. So he, he was in the pro day. Uh, he had to go to the combine. So. You know, when I got a question, I just want to talk to somebody about this whole process. I call, I get Marcus a call, never declines my calls. And uh, like I say, he's like a big brother to me, so he definitely is, is a big help and a helping hand throughout this process. This is the Truex Indoor, and this is our indoor football facility. And this is where, you know, if it's pouring rain or if it's thundering, you know, this is where we come in at to finish our practice. But I can't lie, the defense gets to come in here but the offense, due to the fact, because we got to catch balls and we might have to catch balls in the rain during the weekend in the game, we stay out here shivering and cold. Don't let them fool you now. The, the indoor is mainly for, uh, you know, for the defense. We do a lot of our running in here in the wintertime, but, uh, you know, we have our, our music. Once again, like outside, we have the big speakers, but inside, uh, down the line, we have, we have speakers too, so. This is play, this place like a club. You know, you come in here, you can have fun at work, but when you at work, you go to work, and the only way you can have fun is if you're doing your work right. So, you know, that's, that's the whole beauty of it, man. I love it. Um, you know, the tarp comes down. You know, if you want to have have it, offense on this side, defense on that side. But Scott Crichton, our DN, he's getting ready for the NFL draft. Motor like no other. But I just wanted to make sure I, I introduce you to him. Close uh, close friend of mine on the team. I call him a brother. So, just wanted to introduce yeah, yeah. you to him and. Uh, Get ready for a pro day. Get, he gonna give y'all a show tomorrow. All right, baby. So locker room. I don't know how. Woo! It's kind of messy right now. Man, it ain't my fault. Look, it ain't my fault. You got you got people in here, but it's our locker room. It's, it's a cool thing. Um, they're breaking down in a new locker room, um, 2015. So get ready for that. It's gonna be state of the art. They're gonna break this all down and it's gonna end up being a tunnel into the stadium. So uh, 
it's gonna be a cool little atmosphere. My locker was right here, but they, they obviously stripped my name down already. Um, this is, I wanna give a shout out to Oregon for this, cause what they did for us, when we had a close friend of ours uh, pass away on our team, they, uh, all their players signed it and they sent it to us. So uh, thanks coach Chip Kelly and that for that. And that, that was a special uh, moment for us when they did that. Yeah. Free game, come from the Beaver Walk, come through these doors. I go straight to my locker. And then, you know, I'm a little pumped a little bit, got my headphones on. And I, you know, I'm just ready to go running around. But this place can get wild, cause you know, you have your main music going on. You got everybody around here dancing. Everybody around here singing and rapping, you name it, it's going on. It's like a it's like a jungle in here, you know. Like I said, we some animals and we just ready to go out there and practice. But for myself, I come in here, a little pumped or whatever, come in. But once I sit down, put on my slow music, put on my classical music, start to bring it back down a little bit, you know, right before we step out, you know, I read my Bible, put my headphones on, get a little lyric, come out there and we ready to go. Come out these doors, it's over. Straight like that. I had a good time. I hope y'all enjoyed the facilities. I hope you enjoyed the football field, the people. As you saw, every time I you know, came across someone, everyone's so genuine around here, everyone's so nice. So uh, uh, this, this is where it goes down. And uh, I mean, you want to be great? This is where it happens. And uh, yeah, I mean, this, 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 is, this is what it is now. And uh, now I'm on my next step to my new journey and get ready to see me in the league. Brandon Cooks, Oregon State, wide receiver. And I thank y'all for coming out.